Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R740 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on drives. Let's get going. Well, hey, they've stopped by today. It's a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R740 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps in this video. Click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video will be specifically focused on drives. Uh, we're going to be covering really just your everyday drives. So we're not going to be getting into M.2s or NVMe, uh, even though NVMe's are not supported in the front. So I did want to note that just in case you were wondering. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to tell you what are the compatible types of drives. We're going to show you the max sizes and max speeds for those drives. And then we're going to show you how to physically install them, which is super easy because they're hot swap. And at the end, we're going to show you how to do Dell Diagnostics and HD Sentinel to test your drives. Dell Diagnostics is great because it tests a lot more than just your drives, it'll test your whole system. And HD Sentinel we like because it'll test the power on hours and the health score of your drives. So if you are buying used drives or you just won't even confirm that you got new drives, that's one way that you can do it. So let's go ahead and hop in. So what are the different compatible types of drives? Well, you have SAS hard drives, SATA hard drives, SAS solid state drives, and SATA solid state drives. With SAS hard drives, your max speeds are gonna be 7.2K, 10K all the way up to 15K, whereas with SATA hard drives, you're gonna get 7.2K. That's the advantage of SAS hard drives is that they are faster, but do note the 10 and 15K, they are a mechanical device. The ball bearings are gonna wear out, so they, they are, prone to fail, especially around three to five years. So if that's something that you're using at your data center, probably keep a few extra spares on hand just in case they do fall out. So now with SAS solid state drives, you get 12 gigabytes per second and six gigabyte per second with SATA. So that's the real advantage of SAS solid state drives over SATA solid state drives is they're faster. But on the flip side, SATA solid state drives are gonna be cheaper and cost less money. And they're also more readily available. So depending on what you want, if you don't need the fastest speed, then SATA is a great solution. If you want the fastest speed and NVMe is not an option, which in the front is not an option for the 740, then SAS will be your fastest solution. So, and if you go to our website, we will have uh, all the different types on there, SAS, SATA, uh, enterprise, consumer. So really all the different flavors. If you want, uh, you can go to our site and you'll be able to find them. All right, so now that we know a little bit more about the speeds, let's go over the different sizes. Well, the sizes depend on what type of chassis you have. You can have the eight base small form factor that we have here. We also showed you earlier in the series the 16 base small form factor and there's also an eight bay large form factor so depending on what type of chassis you have will depend on what type of dry and tray for that matter that you want to use all right so for a small form factor hard drive on the SAS side, you're gonna get 2.4 terabytes versus a SATA hard drive, you get two terabytes. Now, the advantage for solid state drives, not only do they perform better and they're more reliable, you can get more scalability on the small form factor. So you get 7.68 terabytes on both SAS or SATA solid state drives. So there's again, just some uh, good advantages and that's why we always recommend solid state drives over hard drives in the first place. Now, if you have the large form factor chassis, it's a different story. Um, you can put just so much more storage in, that's the true advantage of large form factor. So you can get, according to Dell spec sheets, 18 terabytes on the SAS hard drive side and uh, 16 terabytes on the SATA hard drive side. Now we've played around with that and we've actually been able to validate 22 terabytes on the SAS hard drive side and 20 terabytes on the SATA hard drive side. And I'm sure you can actually probably go in a little bit higher and there'll be new stuff that comes out in the future. So do us a favor, if you put something bigger in, drop a comment down below, let the other users know they'd appreciate that and it'd be interested to hear. So now on the uh, solid state drive, it's still gonna be 7.68 terabytes on the SAS and the SATA. So that is the advantage of the hard drives here on the large form factor is you get much more uh, storage and it's gonna be a lot cheaper on a price per terabyte. But again, you get better performance out of a solid state drive. So it depends on what you're looking for. If it's just a storage box, uh, you know, hard drive might be the better solution for you. So, all right, now that we know a little bit more about the, uh, the sizes and the speeds, let's show you how to do the installs. All right, through my ESD gear on, so we are safe to work in our machine. So, all right, if we're gonna remove our old drive, let's say we're upgrading our old hard drives and we wanna install a bunch of new solid state drives. Pretty simple install overall. Just push the red circle. Your uh, latch will pop open here and you're just gonna pull your tray out. It'll just slide out really nice and easy. It's a very simple installation. So you'll see right now we have a bunch of 900 gig SAS drives in here that are 10K. And this was good uh, at the time, but now we have some great 3.84 uh, terabyte solid state drives and these are enterprise and we're just going to slide this in and just 
click it into place. Very, very easy install overall. It's one of the easiest upgrades. This and power supplies always talk about being super easy because they're hot swap. So you literally just slide it in. That's it, that's how easy it is to do. Now, one thing I did wanna note. So when you go to our site, depending on if you have the large form factor or the small form factor chassis, um, when you go to check out and you order your solid state drives, we will have the option to get the, the correct 3.5 inch tray with the adapter or the converter so that you don't have to buy all the pieces separately. We'll have one kit for you that'll have everything so that when you go to check out, it'll be nice and easy. Uh, we do offer overnighting options as well um, and keep a ton of this stuff in stock, all the different options. So uh, just give us a ring if there's anything that you need. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to do Dell Diagnostics and HD Sentinel. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to test your hard drives and solid state drives with Dell Diagnostics and HD Sentinel. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna go ahead and get started with Dell Diagnostics. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and boot up your server. Once you boot up your server, you wanna go ahead and press F10 um, and this will go ahead and bring us into the lifecycle controller. Once we're in lifecycle controller, we can go ahead and scroll down to where it says hardware diagnostics. And then we wanna go ahead and click on run hardware diagnostics. And then you'll get this little warning right here. So it's just gonna say it's gonna take several minutes so we can go ahead and accept that. Um, and this will load us into Dell Diagnostics. So actually getting into Dell Diagnostics and actually running the test is pretty simple. So we're just gonna let these tests run and these tests can say take several minutes up to several hours. So go ahead and just wait this out. If you're familiar with 12th gen and 13th gen uh, Dell PowerEdge servers, um, you'll notice that this looks very, very different. In the 12th gen and 13th gen, you can actually see the different tests on the left-hand side of the screen, um, and you have a lot more information on the middle of the screen. Um, and it's just a lot more simpler of a screen, but it's just gonna go ahead and run through all of these tests. Um, and at the bottom, you can kind of, you can pause these tests if you want, um, and then you can also see like what test specifically is running at that current time, an estimate of how much time is left for that test. So like I said, these tests are gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. So once that final test has stopped running, it'll go ahead and stop, and then we will get a message that pops up on the screen that says success. So this means all of our tests have passed. Um, if you had any issues, then you would get an alternative message saying like, hey, these, these tests failed. Um, and at the very end here, we can actually view all of the information and all the different tests that were ran. Um, and this screen's a little bit more similar as to something we'd see on 12th gen and 13th gen PowerEdge servers. But yeah, we can go through here, see all the test results for each individual test, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, the information about the system health, the configuration, um, and we can even go into the event log, which is pretty useful. So that is how we do uh, Dell Diagnostics and how we can test our hard drives, but also, you know, everything else in our system. And if you really want to see if your system is healthy, then go ahead and run Dell Diagnostics. It'll give you a lot of information if all the components are working the way that they should. So now I'm gonna show you how to test your hard drives with HD Sentinel. Alrighty guys, so I have HD Sentinel pulled up right now, and as you can see, we currently have two drives plugged in. Uh, we have this installed into a storage array where we like to plug in multiple drives at a time so we can test those drives. HD Sentinel is an awesome tool because you can see things like the power on hours, which is great, especially when you're buying used equipment. You can see how long that, that drive has been in use. You don't wanna be using drives that have been you know, heavily used because then you have a higher risk of drive failure. Um, and that's one of the reasons why HD Sentinel is such a cool tool but as you can see we can just go ahead and plug a drive into the array and it'll automatically populate within the software like I said lots of information it'll give you health scores of the drives as you can see the two we have up top they have a hundred percent health score while the one at the bottom has a 99 percent so all pretty good so I hope you guys found this video useful, and if you did, go ahead, smash the subscribe, and leave a like. If you're interested in purchasing a custom-built server, or you're looking to buy some drives, we do have plenty of those in stock, so you can go reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com, sales at cloudninjas.com.